Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the fixthelab.net. Hope you're having a good day. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about kerning in Cinema 4D. So if you remember Grayscale Gorilla put out a tutorial a while back on kerning and just how terrible it is in Cinema 4D. And uh, in R12 they still haven't fixed it yet, so we have to do this workaround. I think Grayscale Gorilla's workaround was uh, doing it in Illustrator and then bringing the splines in. Or um, I think he used some effectors too. Um, but this way will be a little bit faster for you. So I found this resource called the Kernimator, kernimator.com. Be sure to check out the video because it's pretty awesome. Got your uh, epic star glow and shine galore here, which is awesome. Always love that. Um, so if we go to download.c4d, I actually did the download.lib4d, which means you can put it as a preset in your content browser. So go ahead and download that and put it in your content browser. Then if we open that up, there's the kernimator right there, so we'll go ahead and double click on it. And here's what you're going to see by default. So the first thing you're going to see is all these green slivers. And if you zoom out, you can see that there's actually 26 green slivers. So if we twirl down Kernimator, you can see that there are a bunch of different letters. There are actually 26, the entire alphabet. So if we click on the Kernimator, you can see right here it says 26 character maximum per Kernimator. So they have to be under 26 letters, which, you know, I think that'll probably be okay for you. So um, how are we going to kern these? Well, if you notice, each letter is nested inside of a null. If you click on these nulls, you see that there are the green slivers. So if we click on this null and drag the handle, you can see that we're able to kern, which is really awesome. So let's say we want to change the text, right? Well, because of Expresso and the way this is set up, in the root kernimator, there's a, a text slot where we can go ahead and put in our text. So I'll put my name in there, and instantly you can see that it's very well kerned. So if you remember that J is the first one, which is A, and then O is B, so we want to kern O. So we'll go ahead and click that one and drag it over. Oops, sorry, we have to make sure not to click the letter, but to click the null. So we'll drag that over, and then R looks fine, that's the next one down, and then we go down to E, go ahead and drag that one over, and the final one is D, and there you go. That is how easy it is to kern something with the kernimator. So, Pretty awesome resource, 100% free. Go ahead, download that, put it in your object browser. You never know when that's going to come in handy, when you're going to have to kern something real quick. Throw this on there, kern it up, get your paycheck, go home, and enjoy your weekend. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk again real soon. Bye, everybody.